and the game is pretty cool. But do you know what would make the game even cooler? Is that if it give, gives me a character that I want from this temple, right? That's what would make the game really cool. Nope, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, maybe? Oh, maybe? Oh, maybe? Oh, you know, maybe the, the game actually might be a 10 out of 10. If this is a character that I like, the game might be a 10 out of 10. Right? It could be a 10 out of 10. It's after this one. And there it is. A while. There'll be one up eventually. And here's the thing. Again, I want to clarify, right? I want to clarify. I'm not I'm not never playing Blue Archive again, but for the foreseeable future, which is the next few months, the foreseeable future, I can't see myself coming back to Blue Archive. Uh, and I probably most likely won't start brand new gacha games that are on the list. Um, for a while, we're going to be mainly focusing on, on the current ones that I'm playing. Genshi and Honkai, and then HSR, and then Wuthering Waves as well. As well. We're going to be focusing on them as they are like much larger production value and whatnot, and they have a lot more... They're a lot more akin to what I want is brand new games. Uh, but I've enjoyed Blue Archive a lot. I think it's been uh, a great one. Um, I think it, I, I very much loved a lot about it. And I've also hated a lot about it. And I think it has a lot of pros and cons. It's ma mainly for... I guess I could kind of do a pseudo review. It's, it, here's the thing. I love Blue Archive and I think it's good. But it's, it's the definition of a game that you just play for two seconds a day and then leave right it's it's the most it's the most chill game you can play there's there's like no intensity here there is a skill ceiling for certain things there is like a skill required for certain things but you, it's not that important it's it's just a, a lot of auto battling a lot of auto stuff here a lot of auto stuff there sweep spend your energy as quickly as possible and then move on with your life this is not something that you would think about playing for a, a, a large amount of time i do have a lot of annoyances with the game uh, mainly, it doesn't have a PC launcher, so it immediately, like, falls down in my books as a person who likes games that have PC launchers. Although it's a tall order for a gacha game, and, and a, mainly a mobile gacha game, it's a tall order. Uh, but if you're gonna, I don't know, if you want to expand your horizons, a, a PC launcher is one way to do it. But that's just my personal opinion on that really quickly. It's not a, it's not a make or break thing for the game. Um, but I think, like, I don't know, uh, a lot of the, uh, the early days and early start of the game in terms of progression is very quick and then very suddenly you hit a wall where you then have to actually have good units you have to have good good strategy and not even strategy but just kind of good units and like general kind of cognitive ability to get things done um and it's it, it you just hit a sudden wall in terms of power and then your progression is halted to a very very slow snail like uh, speed potentially I'll use snail-like speed as um as the as the term because we experienced that after hitting stage seven, I believe. Stage one till or mission one till six is very quick, very fast, very expedited. We I think we did one stage or a few stages per day at that time, and we were progressing quite quite rapidly because this is the tenth stream that I've played this game. Um, and then got to seven and boom, I didn't think, I don't think we made progress for a whole week and a half essentially. And I had to level up my units, and leveling up is a very tedious process in this game, as it takes a while. Um, especially now, maybe it doesn't take a while for a lot of other people, but it takes a while for me. Um, spending energy on that bullshit, because I don't play the game constantly. But it takes a while, and yeah, it's it's a bit of a... It's, bit, it's a bit of an abrupt wall, much like it is in Limbus Company. It's a bit of an abrupt wall, like a BAM! Here's the wall! Um, that's a pretty shitty. I'm also indifferent about the whole your account level is how high your character level can be um uh, I, i'm kind of indifferent about that it's not something that i overly am passionate about i do i don't necessarily like it but i don't love it but i do understand why it's there uh but that's that a lot of the other systems if i don't mention a certain system is because it's not a problem uh but this game is uh i'm gonna summarize it is 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 that it's um it's the game not not necessarily for everyone and it's because of that chill nature in it i think the story though is really cool i think the story is great um I do like the story. I can see where it's going, and I can see why people love the, the game for the story. And I think early in the stream, someone said that the game is essentially mainly story. I don't think the game plays the strong suit either. 
uh, and I think this, the story is a strong suit. But much like Limbus Company is as well, the story is the main focus and the, the gameplay is not the strong suit. That's the reason it's not for me. If you enjoy this, 100% for you. And if you want to get into a game that has a good story, uh, go for it. But much also like Limbus Company, but look, okay, you also have to invest in the gameplay side to enjoy the story. It's not this uh, separate feature, which is fair enough. Um, it, it isn't really a, a negative or a positive, but you will have to like invest in the in the gameplay side of it to also enjoy the story. At least for the uh, until the four months later from now, if I remember correctly, four months from now, you can then just do the story and the gameplay separately. So if you just want a story, you can play it, whatever. But that, as of the making of this review, if you will, um, it's um, it's you have to do both. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of side stories. I'm not going to talk about those because they're just like I didn't do them and I don't really care for side story stuff kind of like filler like actually filler things like not like filler filler like actual like this is just irrelevant information i'm not going to talk about that um the building of your characters is kind of cool though i think one the strongest suit thing or the strongest thing about blue archive is the getting a character and then gearing them up right i think that's the strongest thing of you just have to get a character and then you can just go to the shop and then you just use your ligmas to buy the character shards or you know, you, you do the total assault thingy and you get the character shards. There's You don't necessarily have to roll for a character and that's the only way to get their duplicates. Just get the character once and you can just buy their shards. If you want to, you know, you get a, you get a Cherino, buy 20 Cherino shards. Done, right? You want to buy more? Go for it, right? I think this is like probably the game's strongest suit is that it's like, I won't say it's free to play friendly, but it's 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 not catastrophic to be a, a free to play player like it is in other games where being free to play kind of you're kind of thrown to the dirt. This is quite good. You just have to get one character one time, although it is still RNG to get the character. Um, you just get them one time and boom, you got it. Uh, you can get them to max level. It's not difficult. It's just time consuming. And then there's a bunch of other things. I think the shop is really good in this game, to be quite fair with you. I think the, the shop is really good. You can buy energy and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, that's that. Now the gear, the actual gearing of your character is a whole different ballpark. There's way too many materials. This, material has, uh, this game has material overload and material bloating. I'll be absolutely frank with you. Like, um, so too many books, they all look the same. Uh, too many different materials, like, there's like seven different materials, or like some shit like that. How, how do I even view this? Uh, how, do, how do I show off? There's too many different colored bullshits, and too many... Is this just shards? Where, where's the shop? A lot of this random bullshit, it looks too, too many. Just uh, minimize it a bit, I don't know. Put like three materials, one rarity, you level it up. You just need different amounts of the rarity, I don't know. I like material simplicity. Although I do play games that don't have material simplicity, which is just an unfortunate part of my brain. But yeah. Um, what else? There's a bunch of other small systems. Cafe, lessons, crafting. They're all, like, fine. So I'm, I don't really want to talk about the fine systems because that means that they've done a good job in making it fine. Um, but I don't, I'm not a fan of the events in this game, to be honest. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I expected from the events in, in Blue Archive, but I don't know. I expected something else. I didn't expect it to be so, like, egregiously difficult. Um, like... Straight away, like, you have, like, level, like, 20 stages, like, which is, like, I think the first four. Uh, and then the last ones are, like, level 50 or some shit. And it's, like, and then there's also level 80 stages requirement. Which the 80 ones I'm fine with, but the, the egregious step up in the, the general stages is kind of incredible. Incredibly bullshit, because just unnecessary. Because you can get, as, like, a brand new player, you can't get any of the event done. I'll be absolutely honest. Uh, if you're a long-term player, you can probably get all of the event done. Uh, maybe not, like, the highest percentages, unless you're, like, mega tryharding. But as a brand new player, you can get about 1% of the event done, which is which is a bit of a shit thing, let's be real. It's not it's not fun to get none of the event done. Um But I'm fine with a level like the, the max level stages because that is like, you know, kind of paying homage to the actual endgame players. But other than that, I may have missed some things. There's a bunch of other nuances like the Momo Talk stuff, but the game is fine. It really just boils down to the game is literally just made for the person who can log on for two seconds a day, who has spare time. And just wants to spend a few minutes of their life playing something um, chill. It's not a game that you have to put an overly a large amount of brain power into. And it never will be really. Unless you're trying to think about the story. But that's about it, right? It's a chill game for chill people. Uh, but it's not a main game. And I'm looking for main games to fill my main game brain. And uh, I'm going to give uh, Blue Archive a solid uh, good game. Uh, good game. Thumbs up. I'm not actually going to give it a score because the number is arbitrary. I'm just going to give it a thumbs up and it's an enjoyable experience, but you have to be very privy to what it is about to actually enjoy it. Uh, but for me, this is going to be probably the last time I play Blue Archive for a fair while. And uh, that's that, really. That's that.